In our previous video, we listed the top three mobile applications for running. In the description below, you can find a link to that video. In this video, we are going to introduce more details about the best running application in our list, Strava. We will go through how to install it, how to use it, and what kind of features exist by looking into the application itself. We hope this video can be a simple guide for you if you are planning to use it or just to show you quickly what this app is about if you are still not sure if worth trying or not. To start with, go to your App Market Store, either Google Play or App Store and search for Strava and install it. Here, I am using an Android phone and searching the app in Google Play. Sign in with any of the suggested methods. I used email for example, but you can also directly log in with your Facebook or Gmail account. Then you need to create a profile just as in many other apps. It will ask if they can contact you. I personally prefer choosing no just to avoid a lot of emails to my mailbox. After this, you can choose if you want to try the premium version which costs about 6 US dollar per month. The premium has a lot of features such as training programs, more data analysis tools and some other cool possibilities. So it's best to have a free trial for one month and try these functions before deciding if you want it or not. Here, I just skip it and choose no thanks. Personally, I'm perfectly happy with my free version. Then, here you can just start running by hitting let's go or press skip to get to do more settings. Let's press later here. And also one more skip at this page because I don't yet want to get connected with friends here. We can do this later as well. A couple of more skips here until we are done and ready to go. At this step, it might ask you to enable the GPS, but since I've already done it, you can't see it anymore. If you want to start your activity directly, just hit record. By clicking on the shoe sign, you can choose your sport type. As you can see, there are many different activity types, but the most popular ones are running and cycling. Here I choose running. Since GPS was already enabled, the app is now showing my current location. That's it, you are set to go. Press start and start running. The app is now working even if you have your phone in your pocket. This is the App Class channel and if it's your first time here and you want to learn about high rated apps, start now by subscribing to our channel. The app doesn't need data enabled but it's the best to have it for better performance. When you are finished with your running or just want to take a short pause, then press the stop button. The app is now paused, now you can choose to either finish your recording and activity or to resume again and continue your run. You can now save, add a photo, description and more details. Then press save. That's it. Very simple. I usually take one or two photos and add here to keep a good record of my running memories and also share some beautiful photos from every new route to my friends here within this application. As you saw, the distance measurement unit was miles by default. Let's see how to change that to kilometer. Go to profile, then setting and then to display. Then click on the unit of measures. Choose metric to change to kilometer. I also would like to change the temperature to Celsius. That's it. Now, for this to be activated, you need to make a new recording. Then, all previous history will change to the new units automatically. Now let's move on to another useful setting. Click on the record, go to the setting on the top left corner and then go to audio cues. It is off by default. Many other apps have this feature on by default. So it is good to know this. If you set the audio cues to on, this will let the app give you regular voice updates and inform you at every kilometer how fast you have been so far and also in the latest kilometer. I usually have a wired or wireless headset connected to my phone. So while I'm listening to music, at every kilometer there will be a short pause with these updates and my music will resume automatically after that. I also set the segment notification to chimes to give me heads up about the segments in which there are already some stored record data available from other runners who have previously run that particular segment. There are also more options here as you can see, but I'm not going through them now and you can try them out by yourself. Now let's see how to add friends and how to follow a friend or athlete. 
Click on this button on the top right corner. Click on Invite Friends. Here you can invite your friends from different applications. You have also a dedicated tab for Facebook and phone contacts. You can also use another method. Go to search on top right and write down a friend's name. If your friend already have Strava, then it will show up here and you can add them or even other athletes, perhaps in your location, for example. But what if you don't want anyone to see or follow your activities? That's also possible. To do this, go to profile, then settings, then privacy controls. Here you can limit the access to others. You can also specify a special zone where your activities should be hidden. Let's show you the nice automatic competition mode in this app. So when you are running a road, if by any chance any part of that road has been already run by others, then you can compare yourself with them on that particular part which is called segment in this app. You can also plan ahead a running path and find these segments in advance and then try to improve your record compared to others. Let's see how. Go to explore, then click on segments. Here you can use current location or search. For example, I search for roads in Gothenburg, Sweden. You can see many segments. Let's try number 9 here. You can see the details of this segment, such as distance and elevation, which is in this case the bridge over the river and is highly elevated. You can see fastest times and most efforts and there are also more stats available. You can also use the top right button to find a start point of this road. That is if you want to plan to run that segment. Otherwise, even if you don't plan and just pass by this track, then your stats will be automatically compared with others. When you go to explore, there are more to find. Here you can find different local or international clubs to join. Under challenges, there are many free competitions that you can participate in and get extra motivation and online trophies or badges. And finally, there are some challenges recommended to you as well. Is it possible to create your own route in advance? The answer is yes. You can do that on the web and then go to record. Go here and you can follow it. Finally, you can check your yearly stats here. Go to profile and then go to stats. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if there is anything you want to add, please leave that in the comments below.